You notice how this, there's a gap down at the bottom, and the way I'm fixturing this up, one thing, using the head bolt holes, because clamping on to stuff on an engine block a lot of times directly is not that great, but they've got good places. They've got bell housings, they've got heads. Always remember, same on gearboxes, other stuff, but always remember the bolt holes that are in the part you're working on. Sometimes that can save you for bolting it down. In this case, I get to use three of the bolt holes, three of the head holes. I could actually, I can't, these ones here don't line up. Um, I could use these, but they get a little bit in my way because of my stick out. What I'm trying to do is mill some flat spots here. So um, three bolts, it's enough. I did the one side already. But the big, one of the big things I want to mention here is as you're doing this, and it will basically suck up to this plate, but it's better to not be fighting gravity. We come in here and if we lift the block up, then when I tighten it, instead of it having to lift, it can settle down. So that makes it a little nicer as far as knowing that it's going to match with the angle plate instead of catching a little below and wedging.